CDC TV presents Health Matters. Today, more than half of the alcohol consumed by adults in the U.S. occurs during a pattern of behavior known as binge drinking, a risky behavior that can lead to illness, injury, and even death. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism defines binge drinking as consumption that raises blood alcohol content to 0.08%, the cutoff point for driving while impaired in all 50 states. Binge drinking is an extremely dangerous pattern of alcohol consumption, which is defined as four or more drinks per occasion for a woman, five or more drinks per occasion for a man. And we estimate that there are approximately 1.5 billion episodes of binge drinking in the U.S. each year. Binge drinking literally fuels dangerous behavior. Binge drinkers are 14 times more likely to report driving drunk than non-binge drinkers. 88% of impaired driving events are caused by binge drinkers. Binge drinking is associated with over half of the 79,000 alcohol attributable deaths that we estimate occur in the United States each year. Though many doctors consider binge drinking to be a dangerous health behavior, many Americans think that binge drinking is socially acceptable. Alcohol is the most widely available drug of intoxication in our society. This dangerous pattern of overconsumption contributes to illness, injury, and death through car crashes, violence, HIV, AIDS, and more. Binge drinking is also associated with a wide range of health and social problems, including unintended pregnancy, sexually transmitted diseases, interpersonal violence, and the list goes on and on. The truth is that most binge drinkers are adults who drink too much on occasion. We estimate that about 70% of the 1.5 billion episodes of binge drinking that occur in the United States each year involve people who are 26 years and older. The majority of alcohol problems are caused by people who think that they're not problem drinkers. There's good scientific evidence that over 80% of binge drinkers are not alcohol dependent or alcoholics. Unlike other high-risk health behaviors, the risk of binge drinking goes up with socioeconomic status. In fact, binge drinkers most commonly make more than $50,000 a year. Binge drinking is a problem for individuals, but it's a problem that is engendered by community environments that are supportive of this behavior. We need to implement effective community-based strategies to prevent binge drinking. The single most effective thing we could do to reduce binge drinking would be to increase alcohol taxes. So too is reducing the number of places where people can purchase alcohol in a community. Reducing days and hours of sale is another important strategy. Communities need to create an environment that discourages underage and binge drinking. We need to maintain and also enforce the age 21 minimum legal drinking age. Armed with these strategies, communities can begin to fight back against the proliferation of alcohol outlets, advertising, and drink specials. We need to denormalize binge drinking as a pattern of alcohol consumption. It is far too risky and harmful a pattern of drinking. Binge drinking is a clear health threat for the drinker and for society. Be responsible to your family, your community, and yourself. Don't binge drink.